This is true. Um, okay, this, uh, I think this is apropos. This is from, uh, is it, uh, all they want to say is it's, it's Katie, and I think there's a reason why they didn't use the last name. Because, the question is, is, do we, is, is she willing to stand up? Does she know? Is she wants to know, what am I thinking? Are you getting anything? Do you sense anything? Are you getting anything? I think she's a big fan of peace. Is that true? Is that accurate? That you're for peace in general? Where is she? She's right there. Am I? Ah, there we go. Okay. He can sense what you're thinking. I can't even see you. That's a fun. Um, now the bloopers, the bloopers at the end of the show, uh, especially the singing ones, are those. You guys, do you rehearse those a lot? Are they improvised? We do. We rehearse our bloopers very, very. Well. <laughs> you just want to get them right. <laughs> Do it one more time, please. I'm going to follow the chip properly. Don't see me into psychos. I mean, uh, so that's just happens all very quickly. I don't have time to rehearse anything on our show. Gotcha. gotcha. Yeah, yeah. I do know that. What is that? That's a lot of fun, though. I mean, when we, when we get it right, it's a lot of fun. Uh, sometimes, though, it does become worse. So they'll keep sending, sending songs like, hey, how about these songs? There's something funny with that. <laughs> So, how many more seasons do you think Psych has in it, and, and what do you guys think you'll do after Psych? How long can it go? I mean, <laughs> I think Psych could probably go out long. I don't know if Dulé and Gus would be there. <laughs> I guess it's maybe like another two seasons, maybe two. two seasons. <laughs> I mean, as, as long as you all keep loving us, we'll try to keep doing it. How long? Yeah. <laughs> I mean, your career is long, you hope your career is long anyway. I'd love to do more television still, go back to stage. Do do a cat piece and go to dance somewhere. Wherever the road goes. So both of you have done a lot of stage. Both of you have been in the theater. And and, uh, James, you have a theater company. Dulé's gotten involved in it. What's the uh, the name of the company? And when did you guys form it and how did that all happen? The name of the company? Yes. Uh, the name of the company is Red Dog Squadron. <laughs> it's shit. It's kind of ethical. And you recently had a show uh, that you started in with Michael Weston and it went to New York. Yeah, it did. Uh, yeah. <laughs> sort of unexpectedly uh, did better than we thought it was going to and then we just sort of rode that train all the way to New York and Dulé actually helped produce that show. Helped produce the show. And there was a lot of uh, a lot of psych support for that show. A lot of people showed up in New York, a lot of people showed up in LA. It's true. Really felt the love. A lot of love. Yeah. But then we saw the play, it was not psych. It was a little one. In a good way though. Jackie Fabian. History and psych. Oh, is that is where's Jackie? Right down here. Okay. Uh, what advice do you have for others who are interested in the film and television industry, specifically aspiring actors and actresses? Is that you or your aspiring actress? Yeah. Right on. All right. <laughs> well, um, I, I think you have to make uh, the decision. Dulé actually said said it very eloquently. Uh, the other night, that you kind of have to make a decision if you're really going to be an actor or you're going to spend the rest of your life trying. And you have to sort of commit to that idea because anything less than that, uh, you know, it's not going to get it done. I mean, you're, you're entering into one of the most sort of difficult kind of playing fields out there. There's lots and lots of people that want to do the same thing, and I think you just... You just kind of got to flip the switch and say, I'm going to do this, no matter what, and no matter how long it takes. And the good news is that there's plenty of, of, of stories out there, people that you know, came from nowhere and didn't know anybody who did it. So I always say, if you, have, if you have an insatiable desire to become an actor, then do it. 
You know, set the goal, set your eyes on it, and have tunnel vision. So this is what I'm going to do, and I'm going to do it, and I'm going to do it, and I'm going to do it. I'm going to get, you know, I may get a thousand no's, but I'm going to keep going to the next one. Yeah, you got to be okay with hearing a thousand no's for every yes. By insatiable, he needs you to be drooling. <laughs> <laughs> like, I, for myself, I just wanted to be an actor. I, I just, I didn't want to do anything else. So, I was, and I was okay with the fact of not being a successful actor. I was, I was fine with that. I said, you know what? I don't mind being scared of my life. Funny enough, I'm going to be bargaining until I'm 50. That's just like a reality. You have to wrap your brain around. Go for it. Yeah. Go for it. I'll see you on the screen. You should have seen together one day. That's what I said. Right? <laughs> 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 Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Jackie Johnson. Okay. Oh my God! Oh my God! She just realized who she was. <laughs> Let it go. Let's do it. Let's applause and meet her on the theater, please. She wants to know, uh, did the episode murder anyone, anyone, Bueller, did that bring back any good memories for you guys, high school-wise? Uh, it brought back memories for me because of the John Hughes thing. Uh, right. There's another one of Andy Berman's upstairs. That's an oldie, but a goodie. Yeah. Oh, right. Yeah, we were basically just riffing on all the, all the John Hughes movies, which, you know, I grew up watching as a kid, so. And I actually got to go to my high school. That was a problem, wasn't it? Yeah. I got to go to my high school prom and see the show, but I didn't go in real life, so. <laughs> I'm okay with the dog. <laughs> 